In my last video, I brought you to the time period where I played Final Fantasy XII. And I'd mentioned that to me, Final Fantasy XII was like the perfect blend between the PC CRPG that I'd grown up with and the Japanese JRPG. Yeah. I thought it brought the best of both together. And I gotta admit, it was a good gateway to get me into JRPGs. And let's face it, from my Commodore 64 to the Amiga 500 days to lusting after my first VGA PC when Ultima Underworld and Ultima 6 VI and 7 came out, these were all VGA games, System Shock. There was a period until around 2006 where I was hardcore, PC-centric, and didn't give the consoles the time of day. And I worked at Electronic Arts for about three years in the late 90s working on the sports titles here in Burnaby, Canada. So I wasn't a stranger to consoles. I just turned my nose up at them. <laughs> I was an elitist snob. There's no other way to there's no other way to put it. I was an elitist snob. So Final Fantasy XII was the game that first made me realize, wow, okay, maybe there's something to this. And my buddy Chris, of course, had a whole slew of other games in line. And I gotta admit, he played it pretty smart. So he said, okay, so this is uh, Final Fantasy XII. You like that a lot. He didn't put me on to Final Fantasy X because he knew one of my big complaints always with JRPGs were they're too linear. I liked the open world aspect of CRPGs, or at least the illusion that you had an open world to explore. Because in hindsight, games like Baldur's Gate, they're they're pretty limited too. I mean, yeah, you can roam where you want, but you know, they're pretty linear when it comes to the actual storyline. So rather than putting me on track with Final Fantasy X, which I've I've come to love in its own way, uh, he knew it would be way too linear for me back then. So he turned me on to Chrono Trigger. And I played Chrono Trigger, I loved it. I played Chrono Cross after that, loved that too. Totally different game. Uh, you could argue it's not a true sequel. The coolest thing though is this is a time when I'd been playing WoW, I'd played EverQuest, and I was wanting gaming experiences and all of a sudden this library, this amazing library opens up from really SNES through emulation all the way through PlayStation, Dreamcast, uh, you name it there were a shit ton of games for me to play. So, being able to experience that has been awesome. The other thing is the anime. So I told you when I was 12, it was hardcore. I grew up the Saturday morning cartoon generation where every Saturday was waking up. Me and my brother, we used to get up early, you know, make toast or have cereal and We'd start watching 6 a.m. till about 11 until our parents kicked us out. <laughs> it was play all day before you could come back in for dinner or lunch. I loved cartoons as a kid. But Western cartoons, and there's some exceptions, and I'll get into that, but Western cartoons, for the most part, they targeted a child audience. And it wasn't until recently with Adult Swim and you know some of the adult Teletoon stuff here in Canada that, that had, that's changed. But anyways, back up a step. So my buddy said, okay, now that I've got you to try JRPGs and you admit you like them, you finished you know four or five titles in the last year and I was, I was going through them with quite the appetite, polishing them off left, right and center. He said, I'm going to introduce you to anime. Now, of course, again, born in 72, 28 at the turn of the century, I'm in my mid-30s and I'm thinking, okay, <laughs> cartoons, anime, for kids? He's like, no, 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 they're not. They're for a wide audience. Sure, they're going to appeal to kids, but there's adult subject matter and content that adults are going to enjoy. You're going to love it. Okay, sure. Now, remember, floodgates had already opened, so I was open to this stuff. He says, why don't you try this one first? And he handed me Death Note. And Christ, I was hooked. Death Note 
It was awesome. I really, really enjoyed Death Note. And uh, I was riveted. I'm like, holy crap. So you got to think, you've got all of a sudden this huge, massive library of JRPGs. And it wasn't just JRPGs, it was stuff like Advance Wars that I scoffed at, you know. Uh, Final Fantasy Tactics, Strategy RPGs. I mean, a whole genre was opened up to me, various genres. And now, the floodgates for anime had opened. So from Death Note, uh, it's gone on to what haven't I watched. It's been absolutely amazing. So it's been a turnaround from a snobby, elitist, PC-only gamer. And that's the one thing I want to stress to anybody who's watching this, who has console-centric views, or I'm an Xbox 360 gamer, I'm a PC gamer, here's my platform of choice. Gaming. I go where the games are. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm a huge PC gamer still. I've got a Steam account with you know, easily 120, 130 plus titles, but I'm also a PC, uh, PS3 gamer. I've got about 50 some odd games in my PS3 library. Uh, I didn't really get into the Xbox 360, not not because of the, you know there were no games that appealed to me, because I did like the Halo and uh, played Halo on the PC, and you know there were some other titles, some RPGs on the 3, 360 that appealed to me. But at the time, I had purchased a lot of PS2 games and the PS3 had the backwards compatibility and I didn't really have an Xbox library because remember I came to the party late like 2006 so there was no compelling reason to uh, get a 360 unless a game knocked my socks off and uh, case in point uh, PS4 now Dark Souls love Dark Souls absolutely love that game and I think it's the 10th of March this month the sequels coming out so I've got that circled on the calendar. I'll be grabbing that, and I'll probably buy it again for the PC. You know, two different things. One, one thing that I love about PC gaming is modding. You take a game like Skyrim. You put Skyrim on a console. It's great. It's great. It's got all the core gameplay there. You put that on a PC, suddenly you've got mods available to you, right? So again, it's the game that drives it for me. Um, I probably wouldn't buy a Skyrim for the console, right? Uh, whereas I would on the PC, but a Dark Soul, I'm definitely going to play it first on a, on a console, and you know Uncharted and on and on. I mean, I've got a crap ton of titles that I can bring up in a new video. So uh, that would be the biggest thing that I would urge anyone out there. And I'm telling you, when I say I've seen it all, I've literally seen it all. In television versus Atari, when I was a kid, was huge. Then ColecoVision got into the picture, and it was a three-way horse, but anybody who actually sat in front of a ColecoVision knew full well that the ColecoVision rocked the shit out of the Intellivision and Atari. I'm talking rocked the shit out of it. Donkey Kong was almost arcade perfect. Ladybug, I mean, you could go on and on. The, the games were fantastic. Zaxxon, they were almost arcade perfect, at, at least to the eyes. When you compare them to the gingerbread man that was Donkey Kong on the Atari 2600, um, in television had some good games as well. Advanced Dungeons and Dragons, a couple of great titles that they had, some good sports titles, loved baseball on the Intellivision, and good football game as well. But uh, th that rivalry's always been there. And then it was Nintendo and Sega, and Commodore 64 versus Spectrum users in the UK, Amiga versus Atari ST, PC versus Amiga, uh, PC versus console, Dreamcast versus PlayStation versus uh, GameCube, and on and on and on. So let the games dictate. Uh, and not everybody's got the cash and the coin to float it, but uh, uh, if you can, don't limit yourself. Get a whole shit ton of consoles. I mean, I've got a 3DS, I've got a Vita as well. Good libraries for both of those. So. That's the best thing, is don't limit yourself. Let the games dictate the systems that you want to get. Um, don't be an elitist gamer like I was. Not worth it. Too much awesome, awesome games out there. Uh, too much awesome anime to view. And, uh, yeah, let the games, let the entertainment drive it.